I have my guitar and I have a handful of picks. We're gonna try to answer the question, which pick should I use? There's not a one answer fits all. However, we're gonna go through various types of picks. We're gonna to listen to the sound quality and also pay attention to how it makes us feel when you're playing, which is an essential part of choosing the right guitar pick. Let's get started. <laughs> Hey, my name is David. I help guitar players express themselves on the instrument. And one part of that expression is the gear you use, of course. Now, it's not all about the gear, but it has its importance to make you feel comfortable. And uh, the picks do have an essential part of the tone. Now, when I say tone, there's a lot of layers to that. I don't mean necessarily that using one pick is really going to brighten up or darken your, your tone. It will do that a little bit, but the main thing that it's going to do is influence the way you play. Well, the first thing we're going to do is just pay attention to the tone. I'm gonna to play the same exact lick using various picks. So I have six picks here, and they kind of represent the, the main types of picks that you have out there. The first one is a typical Tortex pick, kind of pick you would find at Guitar Center. Then we're gonna use a V-Pick rocker, similar size, premium plastic. Then we'll use uh, this one right here. This is the V-Pick Farley. Talk about that too. Here's another V-Pick. This is the V-Pick Mummy. Another V-Pick. This is the V-Pick Infinity. It's much wider than the other picks. And then finally, we'll talk about the Attack Pick, which we talked about on the channel previously. We're gonna go through the same exact lick. I'm gonna play these different picks and we'll pay attention to the tone. Same lick, played six times with a new pick each time. My first reaction, and no, I did not prepare this, is that there's a massive difference in some of those picks. The first two ones, I was starting with the typical Tortex pick. We're all used to that sound. And the second one, which is the, the V-Pick version of a Tortex pick, a little, a little thicker. Not much difference, really. A little bit. The V-Pick is a little brighter, but it's pretty minimal. However, compare the, the V-Pick here that I'm using, which is the Rocker, with say the, the Infinity. It's a massive difference. Several differences here. First of all, the width. You see that the second pick that I use, the V-Pick Infinity is much wider than the Tortex pick. The point of the pick is also different. The Infinity pick is much pointier. And then there's another difference, and that has to do with the edges. See that the Tortex pick has uh, you know, a, a typical edge. There's no slant to it. However, the, the V-Pick Infinity does have a slant. Hopefully you can see this. That slant makes quite a difference in the tone, as you can see. I have other picks with that slant, and we're gonna compare and see if the slant does affect the tone. This right here is the mummy pick right here. You can see that, that edge there that's kind of, kind of scratchy, and the, the cut is a slanted, just like this one right here. This one right here also has kind of a slant to it. So let's play these three picks. These are the ones that have that edge to it and we'll compare. I'll start with the Infinity Pick. The Mummy. Very subtle difference. And then here is the Farley. All right, tone-wise, the Infinity and the Mummy, it's actually called the Chubby Mummy, these are the two V-Picks, they have the same type of slant the only real difference is the thickness of these picks. The mummy is a little thicker, 
and the size. Besides that, they have the same kind of uh, ragged edge, slant to it. And to me, they sound pretty similar. We'll start with the infinity. And here's the chubby mummy. Okay, I'm hearing a little more scratch with the chubby mummy, which actually makes sense because the edge, the ragged end, is it ragged? Should I use that word? I, I'm not sure. You know what I mean? It kind of has a texture, textured edge to it. There's a little more of that on the chubby mummy. So I, I have a feeling that that edge has a lot to do with the tone. And that makes sense because when I'm attacking the string, some of that textured edge creates that scratchy noise that you would not get with a regular Tortex. See if I'm, you're not hearing it. Whereas the, the texture, you're hearing a little bit of that, which I think creates more of a, a raw organic type of sound that I really like actually. And the Tortex is kind of a vanilla type of flavor. You don't get that raspiness. Maybe a little cleaner, but not necessarily in a good way. I really like that, that extra texture that you get with the mummy and the infinity. I'm gonna put these two picks in the same bucket for now. They have that same raspiness as far as the tone because of the edge. Obviously they feel different and we'll talk about that in a second and that has a lot to do with your tone, but I'm gonna leave them together. And then I'm gonna do the same here. I'm going to put my Tortex pick and the V-Pick rocker, which sounded kind of similar, which makes sense. The rocker doesn't really have that, that uh, textured edge. Same with the Tortex. That has a lot to do with the tone like we just saw. They're similar size, different feel, but we'll talk about that later. So two camps right now for these picks. It kind of leaves us with these two right here. We have the Farley on the left, which is a, a V pick, kind of the V pick version of a Jazz 3. And then this uh, weird attack pick. All right, let's talk about these. Same lick played through these two different picks. We'll talk about tone first. We'll start with the Farley. Followed by the attack. All right, there's a difference in tone here. Here's the Farley again. And the attack. The attack is brighter. It's kind of subtle, but it's there. You're also getting this uh, little, little noise with the attack pick. You're getting some of that, whereas the Farley, very different, right? Now just by looking at them, we can understand why there's such a difference in the tone. The Farley, although it has a slant on the edge, that slant is not textured. There's no texture on the slant. I know it's kind of hard to see with the the color here, but you can see that slant, but there's really no texture. It's super smooth. Whereas the attack pick, although the attack pick does not have that slant, it has these, these little bumps there that create the raspiness that we did get with the other uh, textured picks, like the, the mummy here, you know, that textured ragged edge. You're getting the same type of uh, of raspy tone that we got with the attack pick. So far, what I can get out of this is that the biggest impact on the tone, the biggest difference in the tone of these picks doesn't have anything to do with the size of the pick, but with that texture that you get on the attack of the string. The picks that don't have that texture on the edge kind of sound, I'd say, vanilla. <laughs> it sounds clean, it sounds fine, but you don't get this extra uh, character that you would get with the textured edges that you get with the chubby mummy, with the infinity, get some of that here, and the attack pick. So really we have uh, two main types of picks, I think. I really like the textured edge sound that you get. So I'm gonna pick one of those. The good news is that within the, the picks with the textured edges, there's a lot of uh, options as far as size, and that's really going to influence your way of playing. And as you know, 
your way of playing is going to affect the tone you have. So let's talk about that a little bit. This part of the video is extremely subjective, but if you want to, to be comfortable with the pick that you're going to choose, you need to spend a little bit of time on your own. There's no right or wrong answer. I'm gonna start with the chubby mummy pick and I'm just gonna start playing. Mm -hmm. That feels really good to me. I particularly like the grippage that you get on the, on the actual pick. Helps you not lose it. Well, let's try the next one. This is the Infinity, a little wider. It, fe it doesn't feel as comfortable right off the bat because it's more to hold and I'm just not really used to it, but we'll see what happens. I kind of tend to miss notes with this one because it's so much to, to hold in the hand. Not as confident trying things. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm missing some notes. Uh, that doesn't sound very clean. I need to be super clear here. Uh, my thoughts when I was playing that I vocalized are just for me. That's because of the way I play. It does not mean that this is a bad pick at all. It means two things. It means that, uh, first of all, uh, my technique might not be really appropriate for a thicker pick. And it also means, which is a really important thing, that this pick might become my favorite pick if I use it. Uh, often enough, it, be it becomes my main pick. See, in the years, I've transitioned from really loving the typical Tortex pick to being a, a massive fan of the Mummy pick with uh, the edge there. And this could become a very favorite pick too if it became my main pick. So it has to do a lot with just pick one and be comfortable with it. But for now, with my playing, I really, really do like the chubby mummy pick, which is not the typical pick I use. Usually, I've been using uh, the, it's not here, but it's kind of a, a Tortex, thinner Tortex pick. I lost it, so that's why, well, that's actually why I'm making this video, because I need to find a new favorite pick, but the chubby mummy is really my, my pick for now. Okay, so what guitar pick is the right guitar pick for you? What guitar pick should I use? It really depends on the style of music you're into. And then what type of sound do you like? Do you like the cleaner kind of vanilla tone that doesn't really add to the character of the notes so that you can maybe focus on uh, adding character with other things, other techniques. So that'll be the, the Tortex type of pick. Sounds great. Or do you like to have a little more character like the the textured edges like the, the mummy or the infinity. A little brighter sound too. I think it also depends on the kind of music. If you're into blues, I think the textured sides are awesome. Or do you like the cleaner type of sound that you would get with a typical Tortex tip? And that's great too. The bottom line is that you should experiment for yourself to find out which guitar pick is the best guitar pick for you and for your particular use. I'm gonna leave a few links in the description of this video for you to check out some of the various picks that I used in this video, and if you want to stick around for another one, I'll meet you right here.
click right there. Thanks for watching. Practice well.